Hey everyone, so in this screencast I'm going to show you how to do a uh, build out a crossword puzzle in Articulate Storyline 360. Now I've done a little bit of prep. The um, puzzle that I'm going to use is a New York Times mini crossword puzzle from a couple of days ago. I've put in the blank spaces, I've entered in the clues, I added a little submit button. I have my numbers that we'll deal with later, um, and I've labeled everything on the timeline. Now, labeling things on the timeline is going to be your best friend. Um, so then, um, what we're going to be doing is working with data entry fields, and I'm going to show you a few and then we'll speed it up and it's not going to look like the New York Times format until we get all of our fields in and then I'll I'll show you what we're gonna do all right so first we want to go to insert input data entry and we want the text entry field and we want it to be 60 by 60 I'll show you why uh, Sorry, I'm gonna line that up. Okay, so we want it to be 60 by 60 because that's the size of our um, blank squares. So instead of copying and pasting this, we're not gonna do that, but okay. Slow down, actually, a couple things. First, we're going to label the text entry field with the letter that will be the correct letter on the timeline. So then you'll see it shows P here, and sometimes it doesn't like to rename the, the text entry field in, for the first one. That's fine. Um, don't worry about it. And then we are going to um, keep doing that for all of our clues. So I'll do a few and then I'll speed it up. And if you want to do this really fast, you can go into 60 by 60, cool. And that one's going to be A. And then you get the, uh, the gist. We're going to do this for all of our clues. Okay, so now we have all of our um, clue letters in our data entry fields. Now, I know it doesn't feel very efficient or intuitive to not just copy paste, copy paste all of these. Um, however, trust and resist all the urges to copy and paste um, or duplicate these text entry boxes. And I say that only because um, it is going to help you out quite a bit when you're dealing with the triggers. Um, just trust in the process. So then we're going to select our top um, object in the timeline and scroll down and with shift hold held, um, select the uh, last data entry field. So now you've got them all selected and we're going to format them. So. I want them to be white with a black background and I want them to be 24 and then uh, the other thing I want is them to be aligned in the middle and oh whoopsie I want to center them as well cool so then we're just going to go through and delete all of the prompts. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have our crossword grid. And what we're gonna need next, and let me just label this. What we're gonna need next is we're going to need a couple of layers. So we're going to insert a layer. I'm going to um, expand my base layer objects. Go all the way down and I want to hide the clues and I want to hide the submit button. Cool. And then let's just put a shape. It's gonna say, good job. You got all of the words. Cool. I'm gonna make that bigger, make that black. Make this white, make the outline black. Let's put a weight on it. And then I'm going to also um, go to, I'm gonna grab my submit button, copy it. I'm gonna paste it here and I'm going to label this continue. Continue, feedback, um, oops. <clears throat> and then there's going to be a trigger on that continue button that says jump to next slide when the user clicks. And that's going to be our correct feedback. Then I'm going to duplicate that, call it try again. Um, you did not get all of the words. Try again. And then we'll label the continue button, try again. And then we'll hide our base layer objects again. Clues, submit. And then instead of a jump to next slide, we want this to be a show layer, or uh, sorry, hide layer, this layer when the user clicks. Okay. Now we need to do our triggers. So this will also be a little bit tedious, but you want to create a new trigger and we want to show layer correct when, um, when, Let's see, user clicks, sorry, <laughs> I had a brain fart there. When the user clicks, if, and this is where um, labeling all of our text entries is going to come in handy because we're going to do text entry one. Now for us, so you can quickly go and find your like text entry and the letter that it corresponds to. Um, we, uh, I know that I went right across, so I know exactly which one is which. So text entry is P, so I'm going to go down and just start populating all of these and we want them to be equal to a value. So if we go down, we should have Paw, Yoda, Paper Clips, Tent, and we do. Okay. So then what we want to do is duplicate this and show layer. Uh, let me click Submit. Hang on. Okay. So we want to show layer, try again when the user clicks submit, if these values are not equal to. 
So we're going to go down and change all of these to not equal. Oh, shoot. And I just noticed uh, I want it to be ignore case, so be patient with me here. And the reason I want it to be ignore case is, and we'll have to change this with the other one, is because then it doesn't matter if they enter a capital letter or a lowercase letter. should all say ignore case. We're going to go into this one. Okay, so now <laughs> famous last words. Oh, sorry, one more thing, and then we can um, test it out. So I made these numbers uh, before we started. Let's bring them to the front. Okay. Okay, so we've got our numbers. So now we've got our numbers in here. And so these are famous last words. Let's preview. And in theory, <laughs> if I didn't screw up any of the triggers, um, this should work the way that we intended it. Okay, so first I'm gonna go through and you can put in your letters and tab um, and it'll go to the next. Paw. Yoda. Paper clips. Tent. So these are all correct, so we should get the correct layer. Yay, we got it. Cool. And then if we replay this slide and say, and don't populate the rest of it, we should get the incorrect. And we didn't. <laughs> um, I'm just going to redo this trigger. So I'm going to delete this, copy, paste, <clears throat> and then I'm going to make my adjustments. Show layer. Okay, let's, oh, I should double check that. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So let's preview this and then get it wrong. And hopefully that resolves the issue. Yes, yeah, so if we um, didn't have the correct letters or if we didn't enter anything, we will get the try again layer and yeah, so there's a kind of monotonous uh, build of a crossword puzzle. However, um, a lot of people ask 
how to do this and I think it's a lot easier than um, it seems and you just need to be very um, very good about labeling everything in your timeline and trust the process resist all urges to duplicate your data entry fields because it's just going to cause you a headache in the long run especially if you have more than 21 letters in your puzzle this is a very small one um, so you just want to be as organized as possible